What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? So, I just tweeted out that I was going to be at my house, and I figured, hey, someone might not might, might want to be in the video today. So, shout out to all these guys that came to my house after I tweeted, like, two words, like, my house, you're me. I tweeted that out, and uh, a bunch of people came to the house, so that's cool. Let's see everyone show up here. Uh, let's get into the news for Adventure Quest Worlds. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. So every Thursday we, I was gonna say Friday, every Friday we stream the new event. Every Thursday we talk about the new event and all the other stuff that's gonna be coming out in Adventure Quest Worlds. So we do the AQW news every Thursday. So today's Thursday. Uh, and if you want to get the sweater to check out the last video, I'd also like to remind everyone to go to Battleon and do these quests if you have not done them already because these will be turning into items. Uh, how many days till these turn into items? One, two, three days. So these items from Tinsel's quest right here will be turning into like uh, not gift boxes. They'll be turning into real items very soon. We don't even know what those items are. They haven't been tweeted out or anything, uh, but it will happen soon. So you're, you're going to want to get these. These will all be AC items you can store in your bank for free. They'll all be non-member. All right, most of them will, will the pet be member? I think most of them will be non-member too. So you want to get all those. Uh, so you have them and you don't miss out on that like I did last year. Okay, so not actually a lot of news this week. We do have some Nalgas stuff uh, and the class will be coming out. So his set from Krulon, uh, probably always say his name wrong, but uh, I'm just going to go with Krulon. Um, really love his hairstyles. I th Was he the guy that did the uh, Black Friday hair, the hair that was in the Black Friday shop that looks really nice? While he's back at it with some more awesome hairstyles and armors, by the way. I love the, um, oh, what's that movie? There's a movie where there's a guy with a tattoo just like that. I think it was The Rock. And, uh, it was a movie about mummies or something. Someone probably knows what I'm talking about. Uh, there's another set from Z here. Uh, if you like plate armor. And, uh, that sword actually looks really nice. So, might get my hands on that, depending on how you get it. We'll see. And uh, he's not wearing any shoes right there. Just a just little void where his toes should be. Along with the new armors that are going to be coming out soon, uh, we have birthdays. So January, it's next month. Uh, on the 16th, we have Nolgath birthday. On the 25th, we have Captain Rhubarb and Stratos. On the 26th, we have Vulcan. And on the 31st, we have Roath. Ro Roath? Yeah, something like that. So Vulcan doesn't work there anymore. Uh, kind of like Baleen and Nalgath and all those other guys don't work anymore, but they still have birthdays because they're part of Adventure Quests, I guess. And, uh, yeah, so I guess everyone's most excited for Nalgath's birthday, and we do have a few items here for that birthday. Uh, here's some stuff that Z's working on. Uh, looks a lot like Nalgath stuff to me, and uh, that's a Nalgath version of a Phoenix Blade, which, uh, I mean, there already is one, the Crystal Phoenix Blade, but this one, I like it. It kind of looks like the Primal Blade of Awe and the Phoenix Blade and like some Nolgath items had a three-way. <laughs> right. I don't know why I have that tab open. Okay. <laughs> More Nolgath stuff. This is for the $10 plus package. Or may might not be the $10 plus package, but it's very unfinished, of course. A work in progress. Uh, shot for next month. Upgrade set along with a Nolgath inspired armor. Uh, we'll have a birthday shop and new farming gear. So, Nalgoth and Spider Armor will have a birthday shop and new farming gear. So, they're saying, I, I guess Elena's saying for Nalgoth's birthday, they'll have a birthday shop and also farming gear. So, confirmed birthday shop and farming gear. Um, for this next week, uh, this tomorrow, this is tomorrow, not next week. It's actually tomorrow, Friday. We're having the finale for the three-part uh, Frostfell event for this year. And uh, I don't know exactly. This doesn't really give away too much. It's called Crystal of Glacira. Uh, the class is coming out, so if we scroll down here, Glacial Berserker class is out. You can try it right now if you're a member in-game. All you have to do is go here, go to Shops, and New Class Test. Uh, and if you buy this right now for 5k gold, if you're a member, it'll actually turn into either an armor, an a, a free AC armor, or a... Um, or you can just keep it and it has different skills but it still has the glacial berserker test name so it's kind of like a rare class so if you want to collect that as a rare class so you can do that also in game i think i talked about 
both the in-game stuff last week also. So yeah, that's going to be coming out this Friday also. So if you want to, you need to get rank 10 for the class. So if you have some time today and you want to rank it up, you got to get the Glacira rep and you can do that if you go to the holiday event map and then go to this area is the best place to do the rep right now. You can also do the rep in this one because there's some war turn-ins and they're pretty okay, but I would uh, do the first area that's a little bit faster. All right. So that is all the news. So we're going to have Nogas birthday in January. The Glacial Berserker class coming out tomorrow for all players. That's not. It'll be a non-member class for rep. You can buy it for ACs. And of course, you can have it if you're a member too because it's a non-member. Um, so that's coming out along with a new event. I don't know if the war is going to end. Uh, it's been going on for about a week and it still isn't finished. Uh, but uh, we'll see what happens with the war that's currently going on. And... I just want to talk about this because I found it pretty interesting. AQ3D. Yeah, it's the, I put this at the very end because not, not everyone's too interested in AQ3D. But you might want to try it out after the Dragons of Asphalt comes out. This armor actually looks really sick. Like, I think those are wings on the back as the cape sort of thing. With like, I don't know. It's just, it just looks like a really cool molten like plate armor set for AQ3D. I thought they looked very nice. And it's a saga. It's a three-part saga. And uh, that's going to be happening in AQ3D. And you can see a dragon behind him. Looks like it's going to be pretty, pretty interesting. And, um, well, here's a video, of course. Uh, but uh, it's from the RX Entertainment, and it goes over the new information about the bank. Uh, so if we skip forward in the video, you can see here's the UI uh, for the bank. Of course, you can go watch this video on the RX Entertainment channel uh, if you want to, but I can also just quickly explain it for you. So the bank, uh, for everyone, you'll have one bank uh, slot. If you haven't upgraded to Guardian or Dragon Guardian, then you'll have 30 slots in your bank by default. So it's an extra free 30 slots so you can store your items in there. Um, and if you're a guardian, you get it's up to 40 per slot, uh, per bank, uh, like slot one, two, three, four. You start off with one. Of course, Cicero bought uh, five in this video, but you only get one by default. So it'll go up to 40 spaces per vault. And if you're a guardian, and if you're a dragon guardian, it goes up to 50. And you can buy more of these for 900 Dragon Crystals, uh, which is pretty good for extra 30 slots, 30, 40, or 50 slots, depending on what Guardian you have or if you're not a Guardian. And so, like, say you start off with one and you're a Dragon Guardian. That's 50 slots in your bank. You can buy another one for 900 Dragon Crystals, which the Dragon Crystal price doesn't change uh, if you're a Guardian or anything. It stays the same for everyone. Uh, so, like, it is increased, but you get an extra 50. So then you, for 900 Dragon Crystals, you have 100 extra bank slots. It's a very good deal. Like, that's it. Compared to Adventure Quest Worlds, that's insane because it's, like, 200 ACs per one slot in your bank uh, in Adventure Quest Worlds. And it's 900 for 50 if you're a dragon. Uh, if you're a dragon, what do you call it? Wow, Dragon Guardian. Yes, if you're a Dragon Guardian, it's... 950 that's insane value so it, the bank's going to be coming out they said on a stream that they're they sent the request for updates on ios android and all that so once uh they can get them all uh, ready to update at the same time they'll be out and the bank should be coming out very soon for adventure quest 3d and that's going to be actually pretty awesome i can store all my rare capes in there that i've been holding on to for way way too long in my adventure quest 3d inventory so there's some pretty cool news about Adventure Quest 3D. Nogast's birthday is coming out. New class tomorrow. A bunch of cool stuff's going to happen for Adventure Quest. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you're not already, guys. Uh, we post content about Adventure Quest Worlds and uh, maybe AQ3D too sometimes whenever I feel like it. Uh, yeah, so check that out. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Don't forget to watch the last video uploaded. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.